Hello, in the second part of the developer tutorial, we're going to take the PSD demo that we've created in a separate uh, thread and make it actually functional, actually search through the internet. So to start, we'll go to um, this uh, the midlet uh, menu and generate a NetBeans project. And we'll use a search screen as the first screen and create a project uh, called uh, image uh, search or search image images like this and this will create the NetBeans application uh, in this directory now um, the next thing we need to do is make sure that uh, we start mapping the data as expected so first thing we'll need to bind uh, an event on the actual button here so I can actually go here and add an action event but this won't work as expected because I have a command on the search button and the command takes priority so what I need to do is bind an event to the command which is already uh, implemented for navigation so to do this I just open the command dialog like this and go to the source and you can see NetBeans here but it's blinking so I'll open NetBeans and here we have the event for the command now um, here I can actually type the code for performing, performing the search normally if I do the entire implementation I should return head true to indicate that the implementation actually uh, did something but in this case, I want to return false, so the navigation that's defined over here, right here, would still work as expected. So what we want to do is, first of all, find the text for this text field, the search field. So that's pretty easy. We use find search field and give it uh, the root container, which in this case is the current form. So I just get the current form and... I can find the search field and now I want the actual search text and that's just fld.getText so we want to actually send this to the search engine this is pretty easy we just import the rest service and I can just create a uh, new rest like this and give it the query which is fld get text and because we want to do image search always I need to actually add the image search constant now later on we're going to need this variable so I'll just move it outside over here and this would be more obvious soon enough and now what I want to do is actually perform the search but first I'd like to actually place a wait dialog to show that we are actually doing something so I'll import the progress dialog and create it and I'll give it a tile title please wait and I'll give it a connection request and now uh, I'll add set uh, dispose on completion true that would mean that that uh, when the rest uh, request is actually finished the dialog will close automatically next thing I want to do is add this request to the queue instance add to queue and show and that's pretty much it this will actually perform the request and return the result now I'd like to actually show the result but here I'm in this form and I want to show the result over here so this is pretty easy but first I want to be able to locate this particular so this is the result container and it will be clear why I'm calling it the result container in one second when I go to before show and this will open up the before search results method right here which will be called before this form appears and here I can do find result container 
and this is the container where I need to actually add the results. So here REST should contain the actual results already by now. So I can just do uh, a loop over the results um, in the REST response. And now we would be able to do something that's uh, just get the results like this and iterate all over all of them and add them one by one. So first thing is we need to get out every entry and an entry is of the type result entry like this. So we have the entry itself and rest get results element at and what we're doing with this line is going over the results that we re uh, received here and before we show the actual form we just go over the entire thing and find every entry now the entries are a really simple class they contain a thumbnail class and that thumbnail might be null so if it's not now, then we want to actually create a result. So for this particular case, we'll create a result which is a button. And we'll create it. And uh, currently, we will just set a style for it as result, if I remember correctly. And we'll uh, bind it. To an image which is also another nice feature uh, we have in the Lewitt for I.O. which allows binding um, uh, like this to an image URL and will fetch the URL automatically and fill it up uh, like this and just I'll just give it the button and that's about it and then I'll just add the button to the container. So I'm just adding the component R right here. And now I just, ah, I need to add the image to the queue, obviously. Um, network manager, get instance, add to queue. And this will effectively uh, fetch the button at its convenience and add it to the queue. And this should effectively be it. Uh, this should work, uh, hopefully. And we'll just see in a second if it does actually work. Uh, let's run it. As you can see, the code is really, really, really trivial. There's nothing to do here in order to create a simple uh, web uh, request API. And we can get much more uh, elaborate using some other tool that we have here. And as this is working, I'll try to show you another example uh, that's similar to this um, in just one minute, hopefully. I need a faster computer for demos like this, obviously. Here we go. Now I'll just type in a search string, which can be anything literally. I just like searching for this particular string and as usual uh, add to queue ah okay small issue here I had to actually remember to do something small like network manager get instance start the actual networking that's really important to do now uh, while we're running this, I'll discuss uh, what I forgot 
which is this obviously needs to be the first line in your application after display.init, uh, which we don't need here because uh, the application is already um, initialized for the Luit, but not for Luit for IO. Here we go. And as you can see, the data, the images just come on the fly automatically. We automatically have a back button working here. And we can just type in any form of data that we want. So I can search for things like uh, my name. I have no idea what this will return, if it will actually find me. Nope. Uh, that isn't me, as you can see. Um, that's new. I'm not aware of any of these. Anyway, cool demo. Now let's show you something else, which hopefully will work uh, as well. And that's how easy it is to create a list. So I can just take the search results that I have right here and duplicate them and create a search results list. And instead of having the result container here, I'll just delete this and put a list into the center of the screen, which is simple enough. Uh, and I'll call this result, result list. Now, I can just bind the model to this thing. And uh, this will effectively allow me to install just the model of the results. Ah, it doesn't compile because I didn't save. And now in search, I can instead redirect it rather than go to the search results, go to the search results list. And here, what I, and just a moment, I'll customize the list to include a new um, button, a new, sorry, renderer, like this. And I'll set this as a container. And if you remember from my tutorials, this can be an icon. And I'll just remove the text. And for now, I'll just put this as a title, like this. And then I'll go to the list itself and set the renderer as expected. No, sorry, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what I wanted was the renderer right here. Yep. OK. Now, what, what I have here is the list model for the results list. So we would still have the content just like it is here, only we would need to place it in the model instead of in the list itself. So this is pretty much the same thing. Here we create uh, the list model right here. And I'll create uh, something similar to this. Let's see. I'll create a vector of results. And I'll just start adding hash tables into it. So in the hash table, I'll place. Um, And I'll put the results vector right here. So in the hash table, I'll just place the keys and values. And I'll just add the hash. You will notice that this is pretty much similar to the previous code, only with the list model. And in the hash, I'll place uh, the value uh, for the title right here. So. And this will map to this key within the renderer. And I'll get the entry title uh, right here. And I'll do the if the title isn't like this. All of this is no longer necessary. But what is necessary is that the result vec should have um, like 
this. Now, one more thing that I need to do here is reserve space for an icon. Otherwise, the list would be too small. So I'll put in the hash uh, a space saver solution where I have a blank image uh, that actually takes up space. It's just a stupid empty mutable image. Uh, I'll make it a bit larger so there's room and I'll call it blank like this. Um, ah, I create image that is. Right. Here we go. And now, why is that not compiling? Uh, ah, results, obviously. And, ah, and this should be like that. Okay, that should work. Now, one more thing that I need is to actually fill the images up. So, what I need to do is also take this data, this feature, and instead of using that, what I need is something like this request. So here we have the URL, just like we did before. Uh, and we need uh, the target list, yes, the CMP, that's correct. We need the offset, that's um, offset might not be necessarily that. So, oh, actually, the simple way to get the offset in the results vec is to just use result vec size, obviously. And last but not least, add the target key, which is icon, obviously. And we just add it to the queue. And what this will do is download the image and just push it into the hash table and repaint the parent component here. And that should work, generally. Um, I think. Ah, that's what I did wrong. And that should possibly work. <laughs> Haven't tried it before, so we'll actually have to see together whether it actually does work. Um, and should. Uh, let's see. Like this. Mm. I have a null pointer exception on the event here, but uh, generally it seems to be working nicely other than that. Uh, and images are arriving pretty much as expected, as you can see, except for this image for some reason. Uh, I guess I might have a small bug here, but that's uh, probably fixable. Other than that, I'm actually pleased in the way that it turned out with the list nicely. Um, anyway, uh, that's it for this time. Uh, I hope you understand how to bind lists and components on the fly to the resource editor and to the GUI builder. Uh, I hope you'll agree with me it's pretty simple. Uh, until next time.